Hello everyone, it's JP. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello. Welcome. So in today's video, we're just going to be um, potting some of the succulents I have not potted since I got them. And it's been a long time, maybe a month. I want to say at least a month. Uh, yeah, these have just been sitting in between pots. And yeah, they're, they're rooting. Yeah, they're rooting. But yeah, it's, I think it's about time I potted some of these. <laughs> I got some pots. Um, and yeah, just plastic ones. Just these plastic ones I found lying around. I don't have any of my... I don't have any... Oh, God. Anyway, I don't have any of the ingredients to make my pots. So we'll just have to do with the plastic ones. And yeah, maybe we'll just go over everything. Uh, any changes, which there have been. I've been get, we've been getting some rain, and now everyone is mad filled up with water. Like, holy moly. Like, everything is all, uh, what's it called? Stiff. Take a look at that. Can barely move it. So, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. What else? Oh, I chopped some things recently. Like, my uh, Graptopetalum amethystinum, which are pink moonstones. There's their choptiness. Yeah, these are super pink. I, I just, I just, I just wanted more. Um, I chopped my ice cream, Pacuvary ice cream, right here, the head. Um, what else did I chop? I chopped my Echeveria retam. It kind of went wrong. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's the leftover head from that. Let's see what else. Um, but yeah, let's see what else, what else. Oh, I chopped my Madiba. Where's the head of that? Here it is. Right here. Here's that. I think it would just be nice to have a cluster of Madibas. I mean, I already have another one. And I have some leaves propping. Where are they? Right there. Some Madiba. There's another one. But yeah, I just love these, so why not get more? <laughs> um, yeah, I just leave them lying around. What else? Oh, I chopped this guy, uh, which is a Agavoidus Love Fire. Here's that one. Leaves are a little floppy. Look at that. Pretty cool. That'd be nice to have a cluster of those. Um, I chopped my Arcana, Arcana uh, Agavoidus, right here. And what else? I think that's it. Oh no, I chopped all. I chopped up my rainbow cluster. Sorry, <laughs> that was hard to do. I chopped four of them, that one was a little too small. And there they are, just chilling. Where's the other one right here? Super beautiful, so I wanted a bigger cluster. Um, I wanted to chop more, but they're all kind of small. They're either really small, or they're just super tightly compact. And their rosette would kind of be at risk of just falling apart like the Rattam did. I used a string method to chop this once so it was so compact, and I kind of almost lost the head, as you can tell. Like, look how close it is to the rosette. Yeah, so that was kind of risky. So I don't want to do that again. Um, yeah, everything's just been getting watered. Everything's looking beautiful. I haven't had a loss yet, um, <laughs> which is pretty cool. I haven't killed, nothing's been dying from all the rain, which is, thank, thank goodness, because a lot of these do not have, um, what do you call it, drain, drainage holes. Like, they really don't. They probably still have water in them. Like, there's nothing under there. They probably still have water in there, or it's just really moist and damp. 
like as you can tell like look at that <laughs> yeah but i'm not too worried because i i have been trying to drill holes i've been drilling holes and all that but then i got a pinched nerve and that kind of set me back and yeah but nothing has been looking horrible i mean everything's looking really cool like look at that beautiful beautiful this one's flowering i chopped off a lot of the flowers because uh i just didn't want them to keep losing leaves like this at Cheveria largo there was two flower stalks right here and i chopped them simply because i wanted to not have them keep losing leaves as well as this Atraveria Red Lance. I chopped their flowers because they kept losing leaves. Like, as you can see down there, the dried up leaves. And yeah, I didn't want any of that energy wasted, kind of. And yeah. And plus, a lot of them did not have pollen. Like, here's some flowers. There's like, there's no pollen in them. Uh, let's see what's in that one. Yeah, there's just like no pollen, and it's just all, uh, what do you call it? Just the waxy stuff. Anyway, yeah, so a lot of them just didn't have pollen, but I just wanted to see if this one did, because I'd like to get more of those. Also, this one, I cross pollinated. This is an Echeveria agavoidus looming. I crossed that one with this Pachyveria Izmir, just to see what would happen. And these earlier leaves are the ones that were pollinated, so I'm hoping something will come out of those. If not, definitely these. These definitely look like they've been pollinated really good, but yeah. The cotyledons are looking real good, y'all. Ooh, the pink. Oh my god. I, okay, like I said before, I think I miss the original color. <laughs> Just the normal green and uh, like this one, the green and yellow. But y'all, the pink looks so good. They've been growing real nice. They're real firm from all the rain. They love it. Growing so much, so fast. Oh, so gorgeous. There's a bee right next to me. Please go away. I'm sorry. I took your flowers. I'm sorry, but there was nothing in them. I'm sorry. Get away. Oh, don't touch me. Okay, anyway. Yeah, look at these. This cluster is kind of, is, is just beautiful. I think it's going to grow up to be really nice looking. I'm gonna keep it this way, I'm not gonna chop it up because there's so many different varieties of variegation in just this one little clustered uh, plant. Like this one right here, you can see that half variegated on that one leaf and the full variegation on that one leaf. Oh, the bee. Anyway, and you can see the new growth has, oh, it's right next to the bee, please. It has that right there, that variegation. I think that's gonna be, end up being, being pretty cool. This one below it has one normal leaf and a nicely variegated leaf. We have a perfect variegated orbiculata right here, which is your normal, like this one. It will be a normal variegated, oh, the bees are in front of me. We have an albino coming up right there down there which will be fully yellow and here we have something going on i have no idea it looks like half albino half normal and then on this side we have a fully normal orbiculata so i think this is gonna be a pretty cool cluster if you ask me a bunch of different variety and then we have some other just normal variegated ones popping out oh y'all you hear that God, go away. Okay, I think the bee's gone. Okay, so here we have my variegated Shaviana Curly, which is looking so good and pretty. It's, I love this one so much, because it's gonna get big, like super big, like that big. 
because that's, you know, just get the floors get humongous. Um, and yeah, can you imagine this thing being that huge? I think that's going to be freaking awesome. Here we have my Echeveria Bakia or White Knight looking phenomenal. I was sad that this one didn't have any pollen and it's flowers, so I chopped the flower stalks. It's looking perfect. Perfect. Um, you can see the bee flying in and out. My Zichuensis is is being real rude right now. I don't know why it's putting out a flower when it's just not looking hot at all. Like, come on, dude, get your stuff together, fix yourself before you start trying to push out flowers. Like, that's just my opinion, but you know. I love this one, I love the plan, but it's just looking weird, man, it's so slow. But you know, it's, it's doing its best. <laughs> I don't think so, but anyway. Here we have a Echeveria Silver Queen, which is looking quite pink and gorgeous. These to me have been prone to mealies, I found, so I've been watching it, making sure nothing's been going on, and luckily nothing has been. So yeah, uh, my variegated, this is Echeveria Prima Donna. This one had a mealy problem, which I didn't learn till recently, and I took care of the problem, and now it's pushing out some nice new growth. That just shows, like, if your plants aren't growing, there might be something wrong. And so, yeah. Oh, I still chopped my Lowey because my Lowies are looking like garbage. Like, I think they're starting to turn back to normal. I don't know what the heck that one's doing. It looks like it's being multi-headed but look at oh it used to be growing like what the hell like used to, what what is that <laughs> like i don't even know it's literally all my lowies like look at this i don't know what but it looks like they're trying to go back to normal uh, i don't know but yeah i chopped that one just so you know whatever see if it would grow into a cluster or something cool Here's an Echeveria Acavoidus Lot Tail, which I love, despite if it's just, if you think it's plain, I don't think it's plain. Oh God, man, that bee <laughs> gave me a heart attack. Anyway, like I was saying, I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, it's big and beautiful and I just love it. Also, this one's been kind of doing the same thing my Lowey has. This is an Echeveria Sange. And yeah, but this one's just been always having trouble, in my opinion. So yeah, let's just go over here. Everything's looking good on this side. My Echeveria Compton Carousel, Slacklin Ordeen. It's looking big and good. I keep this one, this part, this uh, plant head facing the sun, and this one's kind of like on the shadier end, it's like being blocked. If the sun's facing this way, Obviously, so it's not getting much sun because it's more variegated and it'd be more prone to getting burned. Even though uh, the plant is variegated, it still needs a lot of light to maintain itself since it doesn't have as much chlorophyll, which is the green. So, and this one just has a lot less, so it'd just be doing poorly if it was facing the other direction. Whereas this one is just, you know, happy as can be since it has a nice uh, variant to it. Oh, and the sun's out. Cool. And so, yeah. Everything's looking good. So good. Look at that. Oh, I had my ebony. Right there. Here's my Echeveria pink spot, which looks like it's getting some spots back, which is pretty cool. Those weren't there before. My Arbiculata tree is looking real good. That's how I'm trying to have one of those, those be like. Like, can you imagine these things being like freaking this tall? Anyway, so also, I, this one, this Fimbriata Vergata has been quite the pain since I've got it. It's never really grown. It used to be smaller than this, believe it. It used to be like these two leaves, at least big. And 
it, it was over here. Um, like right here somewhere. And it was getting full sun all the time. And it was a nice kind of reddish color looking pretty cool. And I was just like, okay, it's obviously not growing. Every new leaf it put out, it would drop one. And so I put it behind this big boy so it can get shaded because the sun usually comes in and like for like a while and then it like, you know, goes over and blah, 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 blah. And it's covered by like these big ones. And so it's been getting pretty nice and big and it's just really cool. So I learned that these ones, if you have one, if you're a collector, that they like shade more than the bright sun. Actually, I think you could probably get them big in the shade first and then introduce them to the sun and I'm sure they'd be fine. But yeah, that's one. Also this one has been kind of doing the same thing. It used to be over here getting constant sun and the leaves kept crisping. I mean, it's already like this one, like right here. It used to be all up in the new growth but then I moved it into a new spot where it gets shaded by this purple delight. And yeah, also, yeah, that looks whack. So I sprayed it earlier, so don't worry. Anyway, so yeah, now it's looking good. The leaves are looking cool. Like, see that? That's the old stuff. And the new stuff is looking pretty bomb. Oh God, Jesus, it's harassing me. This is harassment. Oh God, there goes Maggie. Oh, and I'm also really sad because I found some mealybugs in my favorite, one of my favorite plants. <laughs> They're like way up in there in the center. And I don't know how I saw it, but I was just looking and I saw a mealybug like maybe like right here just sitting on the leaf. I killed it. I was like, okay, just maybe check it out. Because usually when there's one, there's more. <laughs> and there were more and they were all up in there. And I sprayed it and so hopefully they're dead or dying, whichever. I don't care as long as they die. Um, yeah, here's just some random stuff I have just laying around. Like a sedum clavatum, variegata. Uh, I just don't have singular pots for these, but I, what I am potting today just need to be potted. So yeah, um, I've already potted some as of before getting the idea to film it. Here's the Atrevia Black Sabbath. Pretty neat. A lot of these have roots. Um, I don't remember this one, but it's so cool. Here's an amethyst, a very amethyst. Now what's weird is that I have another one called an amethyst, but I'm pretty sure it's just called an Agavoidus amethyst. This is an Agavoidus amethyst. And it's just a normal Echeveria amethyst, but this one could also be a Sirius. I don't know. I know what a Sirius is and it looks very similar. I don't know if they're the same plant. I haven't purchased a, uh, something labeled as a Sirius, so I don't have really anything to compare. So if you do, if you have purchased something called a Sirius, definitely send me a picture on Instagram at JP Succulents so I can, you know, see if there's any key differences. But yeah, so if this is just called an am Agavoidus amethyst and this one's just amethyst, but this one just looks like some sort of black queenie hybrid, which is pretty cool. I like how red this one is. Pretty neat. Also, yeah, I'm on Instagram and I post there like every day. And it's probably the best way to contact me. I don't really go on YouTube for that stuff. I don't know. So yeah, I just think Instagram's better. I'm a lot more active on that. Oh, here's also one of my favorites that I potted up like a while back ago, not just now. This is an Etch Very Lovely. Pretty awesome. I knew what these looked like when I got them, but um, they, it definitely changed. It's all pink and purple. It used to be on the bluer side, and it's getting a, this plant. It has a signature kind of look to it, as you can see those darker red markings on either side of a leaf. You can see it's continuous pattern. Those dark edges on either side, like right there and over there. That's starting to show up, which is pretty cool. 
And yeah, I can't wait, even though it was kind of warmer, kind of. Not really. I don't want to say warmer anymore. It's not really warm. The weather's weird, y'all. I don't know why it's raining in April. It's, it's for me, in my area, it's kind of, that's weird as heck. But yeah, we, we move on. <laughs> I don't know. This weather, and it's sunny again after just being overcast, okay? Anyway, this here is an Echeveria Saraheim. Pretty cool. Um, not sure this one. That's really nice. Uh, what else did I pot up over here? Pot up these two. This one, I think this one's called a Gruss, I believe it was. So, although it could be something else, I remember another name for it. I don't know. I think Blue Surprise, maybe? This might be? I don't know. Here we have an Echeveria Carabini. Really gorgeous. Here we have an Echeveria Estrella, or Estrella. I'm pretty sure it's Estrella. It has one L, but I don't know if they misspelled it or whatever. Still beautiful, nonetheless. Over here, we have an Echeveria Honey Pink. And yeah, that's all I've done for as of now. And now, oh, this is the the soil I use, Kellogg, palm, cactus, and citrus, um, yeah, organic, y'all, get organic, uh, if you're in a really dry area, like me, I'm in Central Valley, California, and it's dry as heck, we don't really get humidity, and the soil, if I were to use just normal cactus soil, like the, what's it called, the, uh, Miracle growth cactus soil, my stuff would not be surviving as long as they have them. They need more, uh, they need their water kept more, can't have it really well draining because then they'll just be kind of starving. <laughs> and they wouldn't be all stiff as they are now without having more, uh, retaining more water. Uh, yeah, that's what I use. I don't add anything to it, it's just pretty simple. Um, everything's been doing great with it, as you can see, not to humble brag, humble brag. Um, everything's doing really good with the soil. So yeah, that's what I use, and it's what I'll continue to use, and yeah. So, uh, I'm potting, oh, this is how I pot my stuff. It's pretty simple. <laughs> you dig the hole, this one doesn't have much roots. But yeah, if it doesn't have roots, you still want to dig the hole, like, boom. So when the roots start popping up, they'll go straight down into the soil and then branch out into it. Whereas if you didn't have anything and it was just flat soil on top and you just place it on top, the roots would just crawl along the surface. They wouldn't have, dig, they it wouldn't dig down a lot. And I have some, like for comparison, as you can see right there, uh, I just kind of placed it on top and the roots just kind of stayed on top. They didn't really go deep in the soil. But whereas this, this would help them a lot more, you know, just, just to help it further. This here is an Echeveria, by the way. Chihuahuaensis. Pretty cool. like that one. I have no room. I need a new table. No room. Oh god. Okay, um, I'll just put you right here. And now it's getting hot. <laughs> I'll put it right here getting hot for some reason. Do y'all like the colder or warmer weather more? I prefer the cold just because um, I don't, because when it's hot I get all itchy and blotchy and it's disgusting and I hate it. Um, or if it's cold, you can always just get warm and it's harder to get cold in my opinion because then you have to pump up the AC and that's just a nasty bill. And yeah, whereas if it's just cold, you can just get a bunch of blankets and just 
warm up and yeah uh, what's next we can do this one this one I believe is a um, this one, I, what is it called? A Maria. I'm pretty sure it's just an Echeveria Maria. I've been going back and forth with this one because it was labeled as Agavoidus <laughs> Maria, but obviously this is not an Agavoidus. Um, and Maggie is just crying. Why are you crying? Anyway, uh, this is not Agavoidus, so it's either just Echeveria um, Maria or it's something completely different. Anyway, so yeah, that's just a little something. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I love the colder weather. I hate summer. I do not like it at all. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hot take. <laughs> so yeah, let's just put that there. These will root in no time. I don't know where to put this one. Oh, okay, hold on. Do everything over. Oh, also another thing I wanted to wonder is how are y'all doing in this time? And I don't even need to explain by what <laughs> what I mean by that. How are y'all doing? Is every are you good? Are you just chilling with all this going on or are you kind of panicking let me know in the comments i sure have been just kind of chilling to be honest i don't know if that's just like the gen z in me or that's just you know whatever i know it's a big deal obviously but like you know i just haven't it's not really i don't know I, all I know is, is that school online sucks. I hate it so much. I need the one-on-one. -on -one. And I know, like, you know, the FaceTime thing, whatever, but, like, you know, certain classes, I need, you need to have things. Like, I don't know. I don't want to get too into it, but, you know, I just, I hate online, online classes. Um, yeah. Let's see what else. Also, that was a sedum, Swaviolans. And, yes, that's a sedum. Don't. Uh, it's the flowers, y'all. It's the flowers. That's how you know it's a sedum. Like, this is the furthest thing from a sedum as I would think. Like, automatically a shveria, but no, it's not. <laughs> like, that, that, that's just a cow. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. So yeah, how are y'all doing in this great time to be living in? That's crazy to, be th to think about it. Like, we're living in this time. Like, that's gonna be weird. Like, this is probably gonna be, like, in history books and whatnot. I like, think that's just... I don't know. That's just weird. So, yeah. I've been just kind of just, you know, going with the flow. Um, we're handling it pretty good here in California. I don't know about the other states. <laughs> but, yeah. We're doing pretty good here. I don't know. I've been catching up with the news. It's pretty sad and depressing, but, you know, you gotta stay informed and whatnot. And, yeah, I really don't want to talk about it, but it's like, you know, how are y'all doing? I hope you're all doing okay. If you're not, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, uh, this, it sucks, man, for everyone, really. Obviously, some have it worse, but, like, no, personal experiences, you just, it's just personal, you know? So, yeah, I just hope y'all are doing good. Um not too stressed but also just you know being careful being safe i don't need to say it y'all i don't need to say it that's just common sense you know just stay safe you know do what the uh, professionals are saying because they're you know the professionals follow what the cdc is saying not to the you know i don't know about the newscasters they're they're not the cdc so i listen to the cdc i just you know follow them you know catch up with them um yeah so yeah that is what all i'm gonna do for now it's getting hot as heck i'm starting to get itchy and just not too long ago i was just chilling with the breeze and the overcast but now it's hot and i want to go inside <laughs> i just hope you all are doing great just you know in the garden keeping your mind off things relaxing doing whatever you need to do to just chill and yeah i hope you all have a great day a great week a great life 
and yeah, goodbye.